So the fourth dimension basically is time. So knowing about the fourth dimension being the dimension of time, we have to understand that this dimension is related to the process of things. Not the things, but just the process. Things are objects in the third dimension. So we have the things, the objects in the third dimension, and the process of the things in the fourth dimension. So usually we as humans perceive the time as a line where we are moving through. We are going through a line of time, but it's not like this. So things are not moving through time. Things transform itself through time because of time. So it is the same thing. So this is how we are going to try to understand what is the fourth dimension. So in the same way as the second dimension uses the fractalization to create the depth of the third dimension, the fourth dimension will use exactly the same fractalization, but the whole from the whole object, the whole thing. Okay. So it will multiply the same object many times inside, within, and many times outside. Okay. So I would have another cube here. This cube will be connected to each one of the nodes. But we can do this to keep going outside. So it can be fractalized to the eternity, forever, constantly, within and outside. We can say, for example, that this cube inside is what we call the spirit. This one here, the soul. And this one, the body. So now let's try to do something that is very difficult to understand without movement. So as you see, this is like a being, a body with a soul, with a spirit within. But they all are the same. They are not separated. They are just extensions of each one. What happens when we die? That this one here opens itself through the nodes, expanding itself and taking place in the outside. So as you see, the body is still there. It didn't disappear. It still exists. But the only thing that happened is that, the in, that an internal part expanded in the outside. Just for you to know, this is only one of the shapes that we can explain in the fourth dimension that we call tesseract. But the tesseract is only a cube in the fourth dimension. Because if there would be another structure like a tetrahedron, dodecahedron, the name would be different. Okay, Because it's just explaining the cube. The tesseract, OK? So this, this uh, cube can expand this way and, and create another one bigger and even much more bigger that comes back and take place over the smaller one, OK? So, so let's go to the first base of how we are created. So now follow this image, that this cube here starts to be Oh, to open itself, getting wider, getting this square, the same size as this square, and going out, expanding itself. Do you follow the image? So this one here will project itself in this manner, in this way. So if we unite all the vertices of these cubes, we will have a sphere. So this is a cell, and this is another cell. So this would be the cell multiplication. So this here in the center would be the chromosomes. So when the chromosome starts to divide, they replicate themselves, creating a new cell. So what we usually see like these things like this is that they divide, they project itself in others, creating a new one. So this is something that is not only happening in the humans this is happening in the mineral kingdom in the vegetal kingdom and the animal kingdom and all of them so what is happening here that the matter the thing is going through a process and this process is dividing in evolution the whole structure so it's a process through time for example in the minerals we have a salt cube that replicates in another salt cube, and another one, another one, another one, and they start to multiply until they create a salt mountain. In the vegetals and the animal kingdom, we see it like this. So this is describing the process of transformation of matter, which is through time. So as you see, time is not something separate from, from space, from the things. The time is basically an aspect 
of the physical object during the transformation. Imagine that this is something that happens constantly in our life. First, we are two cells, but then we become a fetus, then a baby, then a child, then a teenager, an adult, and we keep changing. But not only as growing up, every day we are changing. Every day, thousands and millions of cells die and thousands and millions are born again in our body. They are constantly transforming our body. And this means that the time is constantly changing us. So now, if the soul, the energy, expands from the heart, from within to the outside when we die, what is happening here is that everything that was compressed inside comes into the outside, being expanded. So what this means, that the reality that will be projected in the outside in the fourth dimension will be directly in the same proportion of the one that I had within. So basically this means that in the moment we expand into the fourth dimension, the fourth dimension takes the shapes of what we had within. So if we are very in a low vibration, we expand in a very low vibration. If we are in a high vibration, we expand in a positive vibration. Remember, spirit, soul, and body. How are they connected one another? By these two lines. So the way in which we are connected is through these nodes that expand one another. What makes you remember these nodes? Chakras. These nodes are basically chakras, but they are organized in a different way. What happens if these chakras are not connected? So all the structure starts to be unbalanced. There's no connection, there's imbalance. So these nodes are opened to anything because they are not aligned. If instead of being unbalanced, I am in balance, I can manifest my dreams. Fourth dimension is the one that allows me to manifest. If I am in balance, I can go inside the fourth dimension. I can see all the possibilities of time and contract one of those possibilities to manifest it in the third dimension because of time. And the only way in which I can protect myself from all these beings is by being coherent in between what I think, what I feel, what I do. And there we have the nodes of those of this tesseract. And this is the Atlantean cube, the one that allows yourself to get into the possibilities of time to manifest it into the space. And above all, to get inside the fourth dimension, no fear. And to the questions, how do I do it? How can I manifest from the fourth dimension into the third one? Remember, each one of you has your own tesseract. Each one of you have its own way. Some of you will do it through music. Some of you will do it through science. Some of you will do it through art. You have to figure it out. The way in which you will do it is by being centered in yourself. So there is no method for everyone to do this. The only way to that is the being. So you just have to be. And that's it.